Today's topic is genomic DNA library. Let's proceed. Genome. All of the DNA of an organism is called its genome. The size of genome varies from organism to organism. The genome is actually the entire set of DNA instructions found in a cell. In humans, the genome consists of 23 pairs of chromosomes located in the nucleus as well as a small chromosome in the cell's mitochondria. A genome actually contains all the information needed for an individual to develop and function. What is genomic library now? A genomic library is a complete collection of cloned DNA fragments that constitute the entire genome of an organism. Steps to construct a genomic DNA library. The first step is purification of desired eukaryotic cell nucleus which is done and enzymes like proteases and various organic solvents are used for this. The double stranded DNA is obtained and this DNA is treated with restriction endonuclease enzyme. Because of this treatment, the double stranded DNA breaks up into DNA fragments and these DNA fragments are large in size. Therefore, we need a suitable vector. These vectors that can carry large genomic DNA fragments are yeast artificial chromosome and bacterial artificial chromosome. We also need an enzyme to insert these genomic DNA fragments into the vector which is the T4 DNA ligase enzyme. With the help of this enzyme recombinant vector is formed and the recombinant vectors are now inserted and are grown in bacterial host cell. The suitable bacteria is E. coli. These bacteria replicate their genome along with the vector genome contained in them and a collection of clones that contain all the sequence from the original source forms the gene bank or the genomic library. So here is the genomic DNA library construction. Let us take a look at the applications of genomic library now. It's important to understand why do we have to construct a genomic library. It is generally to determine the complete genome sequence of an organism, to study regulatory sequences, to study promoters, study genetic mutations in cancer, to study introns and to study non-expressed genes. These are some of the applications of genomic library.